Hey there, lore enthusiasts. Welcome to another wild ride on baked lore and more. I'm Steph, your guide through the wacky world of history and legends. Imagine the 90s, a time when neon windbreakers reigned supreme, grunge was the soundtrack of rebellion, and the internet was still in its infancy, like a baby discovering its toes. But in the heart of Detroit, something even more colorful and bizarre was brewing. Picture a world where the unexpected was the norm, where horror and comedy collided in a whirlwind of pure, unadulterated weirdness. So, grab your favorite snack, get cozy, and prepare to dive headfirst into the twisted, tie-dyed realm of the Juggalos. As we delve deeper into the world of Juggalos, you'll soon realize that this subculture is a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of music, rebellion, and a touch of clownish mayhem. The journey of the Juggalos is a wild and unpredictable one, like riding a roller coaster through a never-ending circus of oddities. Detroit, the early 90s, a city buzzing with more energy than a bee on a caffeine high. It was here that Violent J and Shaggy 2, dope, our ringleaders of rap, began brewing a cultural concoction potent enough to make your head spin. Initially known as Inner City Posse, these musical madmen took a daring leap of faith. By 92, they emerged as the Insane Clown Posse, ICP delivering a spicy blend of horrorcore rap and rock. Picture a rave in a haunted mansion with Edgar Allan Poe as the DJ, and you're on the right track. Their tunes were an eclectic mix of chilling narratives and societal critiques. Tracks like Piggy Pie in 97 were not just songs, they were rebellions set to rhythm. Then there's The Ringmaster in 94, a musical manifesto that introduced the Dark Carnival, a fantastical realm where each track became a moral tale, transforming listeners into wide-eyed wanderers on a hip-hop odyssey. But hold on tight, because the real stars of our show, the Juggalos, burst onto the scene in 94. They weren't just fans, they were the heart, soul, and lifeblood of the ICP movement. Draped in face paint and fueled by Fago, they created a world where the unusual was usual and the bizarre was celebrated. It was a fantastical, fago fueled wonderland where you could be as weird as you wanted and fit right in. In this vibrant circus, everyone was invited to the mad tea party. The Juggalos didn't merely love the music, they embodied it. They donned the iconic clown makeup, becoming living, breathing manifestations of the dark carnival. This wasn't just fandom, it was a commitment to a way of life that challenged societal norms and celebrated the eccentric. Fast forward to 2011, and we have a twist that even M. Night Shyamalan couldn't have scripted better. The FBI, in a move that left everyone scratching their heads, labeled Juggalos a hybrid gang. Imagine being a fan one day and waking up on a gang member list the next. It's like your grandma's bridge club being mistaken for the mafia. But our fearless Juggalos, in true underdog fashion, didn't back down. They joined forces with the ACLU of Michigan in 2014, turning the legal system into their very own circus ring. This wasn't just a quest for justice. It was a stand for the soul of subcultures across America. The absurdity of the FBI's classification wasn't lost on anyone, and it quickly became the punchline of a nationwide joke. Media outlets had a field day with headlines like the FBI's most wanted, Juggalos, and FBI discovers dangerous gang of face-painted clowns. But the Juggalos, well-versed in the art of humor, took it all in stride, as Violent J, one half of ICP, quipped, if you want to scare the hell out of someone, I guess you could try to scare them with a clown. But it doesn't really make sense. You know, Shaggy too, Dope chimed in, we're just a bunch of scrubs who got together and made something of ourselves. We're not a gang unless you count dancing around and singing about soda pop as a gang. So, their legal battle was a surreal circus act in itself, with the courtroom becoming a stage for the most unconventional cast of characters. Juggalos from all walks of life rallied together, their face paint a badge of honor, their fago battle scars of a war fought for the right to be weird. As ICP's Shaggy 2, Dope put it, we're not fighting to be gang members. We're fighting to not be labeled a gang. The dismissal of their case in 2014 was a minor setback, but the Juggalos weren't about to throw in the towel. 
They appealed in 2015, taking their Carnival of Defiance all the way to the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. Their case shone as a beacon of civil liberties in the legal darkness, a case where the distinction between a fan and a felon hung in the balance. As the ACLU's legal director, Michael J. Steinberg, noted, the FBI's decision to classify Juggalos as a hybrid gang subjected thousands of people to various forms of discrimination, harassment, and unjust profiling. This case is about protecting the First Amendment rights of all music fans. And remember their 2017 march in Washington? It wasn't just a protest, it was a kaleidoscope of resistance, a technicolor testament to their unwavering spirit. Thousands of Juggalos descended upon the nation's capital, brandishing signs with slogans like Clown Lives Matter and Family Not Felons. They chanted, they sang, and they danced to the rhythm of their own drum, sending a clear message to the powers that be, you can't keep a good Juggalo down. In the end, the FBI's bewildering decision to categorize Juggalos as a gang was like mistaking a birthday party clown for a mafia boss. But Juggalos, united and unapologetic, didn't simply accept this unjust label. Instead, they turned adversity into an opportunity to fight for their rights and the rights of subcultures everywhere. Their Lego battles showcased the indomitable spirit of the Juggalo community, proving that they were more than just face-painted fans. They were champions of individuality and freedom. As Violent J once said, we'll never back down. You can't let anybody push you around, even if you're dressed as a clown. This expanded section highlights the absurdity of the FBI's classification of Juggalos as a gang and includes additional quotes that emphasize the Juggalos' resilience and commitment to defending their rights. The FBI's bewildering decision to categorize Juggalos as a gang was like mistaking a birthday party clown for a mafia boss. But Juggalos, united and unapologetic, didn't simply accept this unjust label. Instead, they turned adversity into an opportunity to fight for their rights and the rights of subcultures everywhere. Their legal battles showcased the indomitable spirit of the Juggalo community, proving that they were more than just face-painted fans. They were champions of individuality and freedom. From the shadowy underground to the dazzling heights of pop culture, the Juggalos have climbed the mountain of obscurity and planted their flag for all to see. Their unique blend of horrorcore aesthetics and communal spirit has captivated audiences from the iconic Saturday Night Live stage to the hallowed halls of academia. The gathering of the Juggalos, born in 2000, has blossomed into a cultural phenomenon, a fantastical fusion of music, mayhem, and unbreakable unity. It's an annual pilgrimage for the weird and wonderful, a utopia where individuality isn't just accepted, it's revered. Here, Thousands of Juggalos converge, creating a spectacle that's part music festival, part Halloween party, and all heart. This gathering isn't just an event, it's a testament to the enduring allure of the unconventional, a vibrant village where the strange is standard and the bizarre is beautiful. The impact of the Juggalos stretches far beyond the boundaries of their subculture. Their influence has seeped into the mainstream, proving that even the quirkiest and most unapologetic can carve out a place in pop culture. The gathering of the Juggalos has become an annual celebration of individuality, a reminder that it's perfectly fine to stand out and that genuine unity can emerge from the most unexpected places. Close your eyes and imagine a place where the soundtrack is as eclectic as the attendees, where every twist and turn brings a new surprise. Welcome to the gathering of the Juggalos. Since its inception in 2000, this annual event has evolved into the ultimate Mecca for all things ICP. But it's not merely a festival, it's an experience, an immersive plunge into the very heart of Juggalo culture. Picture throngs of painted faces, each telling a story, each a character in this vibrant narrative. The air is thick with music, laughter, and the unmistakable scent of Fago. From wrestling matches that would make WWE blush to impromptu rap battles, karaoke sessions, and everything in between. The gathering is a carnival of creativity and chaos. Attendees often describe it as a place where you can be your true self, free from judgment and full of joy. 
celebrate your inner weirdness, and dance to the rhythm of your own drum. YouTube videos from the gathering show casa scenes of camaraderie and uninhibited fun. A place where the mundane fades away and the extraordinary takes center stage. While articles and documentaries attempt to capture its essence, the gathering is an experience that defies easy description. It's a haven for the misfits, a sanctuary for the outcasts, and a paradise for those who revel in the unconventional. At the gathering, the boundaries of reality blur as jugalos immerse themselves in a world that defies convention. Strangers become friends, and friends become family. The carnival rides are thrilling, but it's the sense of belonging that's truly intoxicating. In this kaleidoscope of colors and chaos, judgment is left at the door, and acceptance reigns supreme. You can be a juggler, a jokester, or simply your authentic self. There's no need for pretense in this vibrant carnival. The gathering isn't just about watching performances, it's about being part of something larger than life. Each year, this festival morphs into a living, breathing entity, pulsating. With the energy of thousands of juggalos, it's a place where music transcends sound, becoming a shared heartbeat that unites everyone under the juggalo banner. Imagine a place where the bazaar is not only embraced, but celebrated, where the only rule is to be unapologetically yourself. That, my friends, is the gathering of the juggalos. For outsiders, it might seem like a scene from an alternate universe, but dig a little deeper and you'll discover stories of genuine connection, acceptance, and an overwhelming sense of family. Articles and YouTube videos capture mere snapshots of this unique world, but the true essence of the gathering can only be felt amidst its joyous chaos. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of the Juggalo community, a yearly pilgrimage to the heart of their world. The gathering is more than a festival. It's a celebration of individuality, a testament to the power of community, and a vibrant counter-narrative to the mainstream. And there you have it, folks. Another episode of Baked Lore and More comes to an end. But don't think the fun stops here. Our journey through the annals of history's quirkiest corners is just beginning to rev up. Craving more wild tales and lore? Head over to our Patreon for exclusive content that's too quirky for the mainstream. Get your daily dose of history with a twist on TikTok and Instagram. And remember, do us a solid, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share your weirdest historical facts or your next lore adventure in the comments below. Keep your minds curious, your hearts full of laughter, and your spirits higher than a juggalo at the gathering. Whoa, whoa. Until next-